99 US cents, 71 euro cents and 62 pence sterling. Joining us now for a finance update is Rod North, Executive Director of Investor Services Company Boss Communications. Rod, good morning. Good morning. October is the month simply to be got through when it comes to having your money on the share market. That's absolutely right, but it does have some significance too because it's the 23rd anniversary of the stock market crash of 87. Now, why did you have to remind us of that? Well, some of us remember <laughs> that and it was an interesting day because the market actually dropped 45% in oh, one yeah. day. Oh, I remember. Got to, got to 2,800 <laughs> and then it dropped to 1,650, so it sort of puts it in perspective a bit because you know even relative to recent times in 2007 when the market got up to 6,800 it dropped to 3,109 and here we are today in 2010 at 4,700 so it recovers. Oh yeah okay but nonetheless <laughs> the, the pattern is set and October is still the month in which all the bad stuff will happen. Why is that? There is a bit of a tendency. It's just over history. For some reason, October has always been the month where, I think because there's a bit of lack of news, you're sort of coming off the end of the reporting season. Right. People are waiting to see, you know, what will happen before, you know, the end of the year. So often October, for, for you know, many reasons, including that, is, is why we do see a bit of a malaise and, and, and often the market comes off. And the grand finals are over. Which yeah, is a lot of the things are over. That's everyone's right. depressed at that and, point. And people are sort of getting into the spring carnival mood as well. So, you know, it sort of gets a bit, uh, bit slow. Now, the news broke uh, yesterday that BHP and Rio Tinto were calling off their joint venture. What, what effect do you think that will have? Well, look, I think um, in many respects there was a lot of lobbying going on, particularly by overseas steel mills. And I think uh, just about every regulator that was possible was consulted over this one. And I think they realised the inevitability of it, that it just wasn't going to happen. Uh, and of course, you know, we did see BHP and Rio shares come off a little bit as a result of that yesterday. But uh, it is unlikely, you know, that that type of thing was going to be able to get through in any event. I mean, we're talking about $116 billion uh, deal. Marius Kloppers has copied some criticism for this because he, he's not seen as someone who's actually managing to pull off these big deals. No, and I think he'll probably be hoping that that potash deal, uh, you know, comes through for him because, I mean... Well, he, ha he has to have this happen he, now. He really does have to have that deal come off. So I think the whole focus for BHP Billiton will be now on, you know, making sure that deal can go through. But, of mm. course, there's no great assurity there either. So, yes, absolutely, the, the microscope's on, on, on him and on, on BHP in respect to that. Now, of course, some very important minutes come out today. The RBA's uh, decision to keep interest rates on hold. Are you expecting to find anything out there that will help us out knowing what's coming up in the future? Well, I think there's some sort of inevitability that, in many respects, the market has expected rates will be going up at some point in time. And I think the Reserve Bank, in this particular instance, is waiting for greater guidance. And, I mean, one of the key uh, economic indicators that's out uh, Wednesday week will be the CPI. So, of course, that will provide a real guide. And, of course, we've had the dollar going up as well. So, I think it, it probably made a lot of sense and when we read the minutes plus there was a bit of backdrop for concern about the the world and, and how the US was going to be positioned you know towards the end of this year as well so I think uh, rates you know will be going up but sometimes they just don't have to go up when you think they're going to go up uh, it'll be next year that you know the, the band was always going to be somewhere between 4.5 and 5.5 yeah. but that could be a year away and, and really in many respects we really don't want to be spoiling things too much ahead of Christmas this year because people want to get out and uh, spend a bit of money. Rod North, good to see you again. Thanks so much. Thank you. Now coming up, we'll speak to Northern Territory's Children's Commissioner, Dr Howard Bath, about that report that slammed the Territory's child protection.